Hey everyone, it's Craig with Laser Models. Hey, today we're going to be doing the cable car model. And the reason we're doing this one right now is we had a, someone call and say they were having problems with it. And when we get phone calls like that, we try to step up and see what we can do to help. This is one of the retired models that we weren't doing videos on yet. But because someone asked for it, we're going to go ahead and do it, take the time out, and put this as a priority. Uh, to us, customer service is number one thing. So. Follow along with us. We're going to do this one a little different than normally. I'm going to kind of walk through a little bit of once we open this, what to do. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we do is just open it up and dump everything on the table. And there are a lot of little pieces on this one. So what I want to do is I want to start just grabbing pieces that look the same. And just kind of put those all together. And some of these pieces I, I know are trash, but you won't. So I'm going to go ahead and just add those in here and then you'll see what to do when you get to those points. Now this model's got a little bit of burn on it and that was because our grid got dirty and our laser tube blew out. So it was the last thing I was able to cut prior to filming. And normally we'd throw this model out just because of the quality of it. We don't we don't like this type of stuff or burns like this. It's not our quality. But because we don't want to wait any longer on getting this video out, we're just going to go ahead and use this model. And there's a bunch of these little things like this. We're just going to grab all of those. And the rest of this, we're just going to go ahead and slide it to the side. Just off the workspace here. And then we're going to go ahead and start building this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do step one using a regular wood glue, which we've got here. Have your tissue paper available to wipe off stuff. Um, I keep a tip so when the glue plugs the tip up, I can clean that out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom piece, we're going to flip it upside down like this, and we're going to put the axles and tire on. So that's going to be those two sets right there. The first thing we do is these will set in like this. And then this piece sets inside. So we kind of glue it together a little bit at the same time. This piece here isn't really that critical as much as these other ones are. So I put a little bit of dab of glue on each side. So, so far it's going to go like that and get the little bit of glue here and that one's going to go into there. And we're just going to set them in place. That's the first one, we're going to do the next one. So, and 
and make sure you put the artwork facing out. So, like that. Then what we want to do is we're going to flip this on over and let that set there. Now the weight of these will go ahead and get that down and set real good. Now this other piece that looks like trash will end up going in this slot here. So, just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting the sides on. Um, I don't think it's really tricky, but um, some people have a little difficulty with it. This slot here will go in the front slot there, so it'll just set like that. So we're going to want to put some glue here. And there, and then put a couple little dots right on the edge there. So just like that. Then again, this side. A couple little dots. Goes in that slot just like that. So the next step is going to be this floor. Let me turn this the way the directions show it in the that way everything stays the same. Okay, so the floor is going to be here. Next we got this little gearbox. Now there's three pieces. Two of them will have a little line on them. There's one. Here's the other one. So those are for the outside. This one, you want to see how the fingers go. So you want to have that one forward and this one like that. Okay, so we'll glue those together. And just glue on the bottom because the top pieces are in different locations. And then this will go in that slot. So glue in those spots. And you can put it forward um, because when they grab the handle they squeeze this. So you want to put the little pieces forward like that. So just like that. Okay. So that's step four. Step five is going to be putting the seats onto here. And that is going to take these and those. And so what we're going to do right now is we're just going to put the front seats in, not the back ones. So the front ones, it's going to talk about it right here. Glue in front and back seat bases in the front part of the floor is shown. Glue front seat in place. You will have to wiggle the, some of the pieces to get the pieces straight below for a finished look. The front seats are the short sets. So, see how they're short? So that's the short set. So we'll set these to the side. Short set, and short set. So basically what's going to happen is one of these there, one there, and then this is going to set in and down. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. So glue on the bottom and set it in that slot. Same thing. And into that slot. 
Now if you notice both of these have curves on one side, if you flip it over, they're the same. The reason for that, it doesn't matter which one, the front's curved, either piece will work for you. So the first thing you want to do is put a little bit of glue here, and a little bit of glue back here. Slide those in, push it together. There's the first set. Now let's just go ahead and repeat this side. Again, glue right there. Slides in and down. A little too much glue. Let me just wipe it off. Okay, so that's that piece. Now, this is going to go into here. And the way this works is we're going to put it in an angle this way. The back's going to rest here. The front sides are going to rest in these. So, we're going to start putting it in just like that. Okay, so it'll just set right like that. Let me take it back out. Knowing that, we're going to put glue here. Same thing here. Okay. So again, and like this, turn it and just set it down. A little bit of tissue paper. Excess glue off there. Excess glue off there. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to put this center divider in. You have three pieces. Center divider is going to be the back. This is going to be the rear because it's got the writing on it. So the difference here is center divider has got the top on it. I would put you got artwork on one side, nothing on the other. I'd put the artwork facing this area. So, a little glue there. And then right down here. Into those holes. And that's it. The next step we've got is we're going to put in the back seats. So grab these, these, and those pieces. Set these to the side. Same thing with the back as we did the front. We're going to put the back piece in first. Now these are going to be a little more difficult if you have large hands. If you have small hands, it's not a big deal. And then the front pieces. My timer's going off on the phone. These cameras only stay on for so long. So after we get this seat in, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Let me reset the cameras. 
and then we'll get going again. So again, this one goes in. Like I said, these are a little harder if you've got larger hands. There's one. And then the other one right here. And there's that one. Let me get a little bit of tissue. And then there's that. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry real quick. And then we'll continue and reset the timers. Okay, we've gone ahead and gone ahead and let everything dry. Finish with the first set of instructions. Step nine is going to be putting all the rest of the little doors in, the little roof sections. And let's see. This piece. This one's later. Okay. So let's see the this way in the instructions. So we'll continue that way. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the little one here. This one here will go right here. And one of these will go right behind it. What we're doing is we're making a ledge for the roof. This one will go here. And that will go there. Again, little lip here, lip on the outside. Those are for the the roof. So let me pull these out, set that to the side for now. If you leave your bottle laying on its side, it will keep the glue where it doesn't settle all the way down. You got to go through and redo everything. And put a little bit of glue right here also. That'll be that side. And this side is just the two pieces. So again, a little bit of glue. And if you want. A little bit of glue there. Slide that in place. Now you've got the lip on the front, lip on the back. Now we're going to go ahead and glue the front end. Oh, we still got to glue the back piece on. Sorry about that. This one here that goes here. So. A little glue in those. Down here at the bottom. Just like that. There we go. Now we're going to glue the front on. This piece is going to go here. Just like, just like that. So down, not up like this. Whoop. Not like these, like this, because what this is doing, this is making our front curve. Okay. Then you've got three pieces. Spells out riceroni. Start with the middle sides, doesn't really matter. 
a little bit of glue on the bottom and then just put a bead of glue across the front there. Stick this one in and push against it. This will be this side. You're going to have one little piece of tabs through. That helps line it up and keep it square. One on the other side. Goes in the slot there. And into the tab. So just like that. Okay, now we're going to be putting these pieces in. These are the pieces that will be the upper windows. Now, there's two different ways, the thick side and the thin side. The thick side goes down. So, a little bit of glue here, and there, and in there. Thick side down. Just like that. We have one more to do. Again, thick side down. All right. Okay, now we're going to be putting the roof on. Now, as we started, we had a bunch of pieces that we were just putting to the side, not sure what's what, um, because it wasn't really obvious. That's why we don't throw anything out. The roof is made up of a bunch of small pieces. It'll be exactly, I think, yeah, eight pieces. So two, four, six, I need two more. There's one. And here's one. Now, where these came from, there was two pieces that made the piece like that. Those were cut out of the door here. I'll pull that up. So, all of these pieces that you see are trash. All the large pieces are trash. All of these little ones here were all the windows. Those are all trash. Don't throw anything out, because we're not sure if we got anything else. But right now, that's all we've got. Now, all of these are the same size. So we're going to put four here and four back here. We're also going to go right after that, immediately, is add the outer strips here. So those are the long ones. You're going to have... Two with square ends, two with curved ends. So basically, that's the roof around this piece. And that's what we're going to install right now. So we're just going to put a lot of glue in places. You want to make sure you get a decent amount of glue on these outside lips because these long pieces kind of hang out a little bit without a whole lot of support. And so we just want to make sure everything's supported and taken care of. So you, you can either do it two ways. You can either put these on real quick. and then fill these in because what these are going to do is these are going to line up front to back So 
So line that one up, line this one up. Now you can just set these on. Like that. Now you've got the upper roof to do. You're going to have two curved ones again. Four inner ones. So a bead of glue on the top rail. And you just kind of line them up the best you can right now. Front to back, left to right. Okay, so that finishes that part. So then the only thing we have left, they're going to be putting on these side panels here. These just glue on here, and they're just accents. So, just like that. There's one. Do this one the same way. And you just kind of center them the best you can. All right. There you go, that is the cable car, all finished. It does look overwhelming because of the amount of pieces that come in the bag. And it's just one of the things we do is to save cost is just everything goes into the bag, but it also eliminates the chance of something not getting in the bag. Because everybody that works here does not know everything about every model. So I'm the only one that does the design, so I know everything about these models. If you've got my wife or one of the other people that help us uh, bagging, there's a good chance something's going to get missed. So we've decided that we're just putting everything in the bags, and that helps eliminate that. Anyway, hey, thank you for your time. Um, it's always fun. I enjoy building these with you guys. And hopefully this will help you guys be able to build the cable car and have fun doing it. Anyway, have a great night.